let it be known officially as of this day, 2024 is the year of this hedgehog right here. This man, this ultimate life form, whatever you want to call him, 2024 is the year of Shadow. I already knew that 2024 was going to be a big year for Shadow, given that he's in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, coming out later this year in December. But now with the announcement of Sonic X Shadow Generations, it's very clear that Sega is putting Shadow forward to pretty much be their mascot for the year. And it may largely have to do with the fact that Shadow is starring in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, but even when you put aside the Sonic X Shadow game, we already got a lot of Shadow at the beginning of the year with Sonic Prime Season 3, which admittedly I have not seen any of, but my colleague Triss has told me that Shadow has played an especially big part in Season 3, even saving Sonic a few times, so there's no denying that he has been an especially important character in the third season. Didn't this show, like, just come out? At least it, it feels like it came out. We're already on season three. Didn't season one release, like, last year? I don't know. Time is a flat circle, and it moves way too fast. And while Sonic X Shadow Generations was the big kahuna which was announced at the Sony State of Play, Sega didn't stop there saying in the press release for the game that Shadow would be getting his own costume in Sonic Superstars. I find this to be quite interesting because even though I haven't wanted it, I know a lot of Sonic fans that I've talked to have wanted Shadow to have his own classic style to him because he did not appear in any of the 2D Sonics before the Adventure series, so he never got to have an official character model that looked short and adorable like Sonic and the rest of his friends. As of recording this though, we don't know what this Shadow costume looks like and I am begging Sonic Team not to mess this one up because I really want to see what Shadow would look like in that classic style. I'm a little concerned that this outfit will be disappointing. Maybe it'll just look like Sonic but with Shadow paint on him if that makes sense. I'm not quite sure. Either way, we'll find out when this costume comes out on February 15th, pretty, pretty close from now. But let's of course talk about Sonic X Shadow Generations. I feel so weird saying that title, it, it doesn't feel right to me. But I much prefer this kind of remaster that provides new content rather than something like Sonic Colors Ultimate, which felt like it came and went. I never really beat that remaster, but from what I understood, it was pretty underwhelming. Sonic X Shadow Generations though? Oh boy, when I saw that trailer, I got instantly hyped. Of course, there were rumors about this before the state of play where it was announced, so I really didn't know what to expect, honestly. I thought maybe it would include just a playable Shadow with his own special abilities and nothing more. But no, they're going even further with it. It looks like Shadow is getting his own minigame in the form of Shadow Generations, pretty much. He's getting his own side story. I don't know how long this side story is, but given that Sonic Generations is already a short game, I would imagine the Shadow storyline is going to be pretty short too. But you look at that trailer, he's going through levels from his past games like Sonic Adventure 2 and Shadow the Hedgehog. But what really got me was the fact that the villain from Shadow the Hedgehog, Black Doom, is in this. We haven't seen him in his regular form, just that little starfish eyeball looking thing, but just the fact that he's coming back is kind of insane to me. I mean, look at him. Does he look like a Sonic character to you? He looks like something out of Diablo or something. Back when this game came out about 19 years ago... Has it really been 19 years? Anyway, back in Shadow the Hedgehog, he guided Shadow through most of the levels, but it wasn't until the final story that he really became the villain. I wonder if something similar is going to happen here with him following Shadow through these levels, but then becoming a boss at the end, because let's face it, Black Doom always has to be evil. He just has to be. Look at him. He looks like something out of Baldur's Gate 3, not Sonic. But that's not all because the Bio Lizard from Sonic Adventure 2 is a boss battle here. This is so wicked. I really was not expecting Sonic Team to go all the way with this idea. Giving Shadow his own side story, going back into his own past, much like Sonic did in Sonic Generations. Doesn't look like there's an alternate 2D version of Shadow though, where he's a small little guy going through 2D platforming levels, but that's fine. I don't need that. It's really cool to see Sonic Team embrace this character more than they have been in the past few years, because I really do feel like after Shadow the Hedgehog, and even after Sonic 2006 where he was one of the three playable characters, Sega seemed to kind of shy away from him a bit. We didn't see him appear in many games after that. Yes, he was in the base Sonic Generations game, but he appeared in like, what, one cutscene? 
he wasn't really that much of a player, even though he had his own boss battle. I think Sega and Sonic Team are starting to realize just how much people love Shadow. Heck, most people prefer Shadow over Sonic, because let's face it, Shadow is a more interesting character. Because unlike Sonic, he has a backstory that has remained fairly consistent. He was created 50 years ago on the Space Colony arc by Dr. Robotnik's grandfather, Gerald, who had a granddaughter named Maria that Shadow was best friends with. And then tragedy struck when the government had to destroy all of Dr. Robotnik's research, including anyone involved, that also meant Maria. Maria! Then Shadow became bitter, vengeful, until he went through some serious character growth, realizing that Maria wanted him to save humanity, and we all know the story. Sonic Adventure 2, fantastic game, I love it so much. Even covering all that, it really makes me wonder what Sonic X Shadow Generations is going to include in that Shadow storyline. Will him going through his past include that tragedy of the Space Colony arc? Will it include Maria in there somehow? Who's to say, I just hope this is better than Episode Shadow from Sonic Forces. In fact, I hope it's better than all of Sonic Forces, although that's a pretty low bar. But finally, the Year of Shadow is going to conclude, barring any delays, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Because at the end of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, spoiler alert, it's been almost two years, you've seen the movie already, Shadow showed up during the mid credits scene. In fact, I know every Sonic fan who watched this movie in theaters already got hyped when they heard the line 50 years ago. From then on, we knew who they were talking about, Project Shadow. We don't know much about how he's going to be perceived in this movie. In fact, we really don't know anything at all. We don't even know who's voicing him yet. Rumors have been pointing to Hayden Christensen, which... I'll just keep my opinions on that to myself. But no doubt the reason for us being blessed with all this Shadow material in 2024 is leading up to Sonic the Hedgehog 3. This is going to be a very big deal when it comes out in December. Sonic the Hedgehog movies have made so much money, and Sega really wants to capitalize on the fact that Shadow is going to be the main antagonist in this movie. Or he'll start to be the main antagonist until he goes through some character growth in which he teams up with Sonic and his friends to take on the real antagonist, which may or may not be Robotnik. Eggman, I don't know, is Jim Carrey still retiring? What's going on with that? But yes, 2024 is the year of Shadow the Hedgehog. Make no mistake, with all the stuff that we're getting, we might even be getting some more stuff because let's face it, it's only February. What more could they show of Shadow the Hedgehog? Even if we don't get any more Shadow and anything else, I'm totally fine with that. As long as Sonic X Shadow Generations is good, as long as Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is enjoyable, I will be more than pleased with what we got in the year of our Hedgehog 2024. But tell me, are you excited for what the future of Shadow the Hedgehog holds? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, bye bye